This is the story of Trevor and Chris, two grown males rocketing towards a midlife crisis. But this isn't about convertibles and divorces. It's a story about two dudes who met in community college and are looking to make something of themselves as polar bear guides. It was a busy Thursday morning in Winnipeg. Among the businessmen, vacationers, and screaming children were Chris and Trevor, two college buddies with the great idea that over the next few days, they were going to take on a new job. Not just any job though, Chris and Trevor wanted to become polar bear guides. After saying goodbye to their wives for what could be the last time, Chris and Trevor headed out on their new adventure. Chris, what are you wearing? I am wearing my best Bear Gorillas outfit. Did you say Gorillas? <laughs> I, what's his name? Grills. Grills. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're talking about how we met. The love story. Community college? Yeah, I don't remember it that way at all. <laughs> I just realized I'm wearing the wrong deodorant today and it's throwing me off entirely. Okay, get on the right plane. Chris mentioned this because just the year before, he had in fact gotten on the wrong plane and ended up a few miles from home. I'm telling you this button. How does Bear Grylls... <laughs> Grylls or Grylls? Huh? I think it's Grylls by this time. It's Grylls. Now what? So, uh... The climate has changed quite a bit. We're a lot further north now, so uh, time to break out the warm clothing. Towel. Crocs. Another hat. Bald guys need hats. At first, Trevor seemed to be more prepared for a day at the beach than for a week up north. He was, however, still far more prepared than Chris, as he at least had brought a down jacket. Yay! Chris was still in the process of locating the few clothes he had brought. I also need to get some clothes. It's a little colder than I had anticipated. It was clear the guys needed a little help before they headed out. Okay. Where's all your stuff? I brought half the duffel bag. It's like full of t-shirts, shorts, and socks. <laughs> you ended up in the wrong place again? <laughs> uh, I'm having trouble here. Okay, so we finally arrived in Churchill. We're going over to the hangar to pack the plane uh, and get ready to stand by for our trip to Seal River. All right. There you go. Jackets. <laughs> Could be a blow. Oh, it might be black bear. You gotta wear it like you gotta wear it like this. <laughs> this that sounds bad. It wasn't clear yet if Chris resembled one of the Queen's Guard or an 80s rocker, but one thing was for sure. The guys were ready to go to Seal River. I just I don't know, I find polar bears fascinating. You have some that have shown up at the lodge that are right away angry and hissing and they're just offended that you're in their territory. And then there's others that just go to sleep and they don't mind that you're there and they barely even acknowledge that you're around when you're there. People, you know, the standard, lots of people think, oh, I'll just play dead. But to a polar bear, that's extremely enticing. They're not territorial animals. So now you look like a seal. Yeah, you play dead and they're like, well, thanks, buddy. Like, okay. Freebie. <laughs> that, yeah. that was nice of you. So as soon as, as, soon as I like nose up or, or, or whatever, whatever these are, put them down a little bit. Chris was attempting to learn how to become a pilot in the middle of learning how to become a polar bear guide. The man is busy, Chris. Stay in your lane. guys had made it to Seal River, the one place where it may actually be possible for them to become polar bear guides in such a short period of time. 
After unloading the plane, they were informed that the guide known as the Polar Bear Whisperer was nearby and that they could get on the ATVs and meet with him. It was an opportunity they couldn't turn down. It smells like the ocean. The Manitoba Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> the motion. We have no idea where we're going. We're going out into polar bear country. This is our ride. We were told that we were going somewhere where the guides are to learn a little bit about what it's like to uh, be with polar bears on land. So that's the idea right now. Uh, it's gonna take us maybe about a little while to get there, maybe about two kilometers, something like that. And away we go. <laughs> Super rough being a polar bear guy. Being a polar bear guy. Why didn't I think it was sooner? <laughs> Not ready for bears. I'm trying to work off the willow factor right now. <laughs> However, I have seen lots of bird action, and I was just saying to Trevor that when we get older, we should become birders. Birder. Chris's obsession with things that fly continued. At this rate, the only way Chris was going to stay focused on learning about bears was if that bear had wings and was actually just a bird. But what would you do, what would you do, like, okay, so let's say that, like, a bear pops up, like, right now. I mean, we're in here, we're in, we're in the, I would stay right here. Safety bubble. Safety bubble. <laughs> what was originally supposed to be only, maybe about two kilometers, something like that, ended up being a little bit more. All right, so last time we chimed in, it was, we were at 45 minutes, now we're at about an hour and 10. And my question is, are we more likely to see a polar bear or Andy McPherson? The polar bear whisperer. Well, over, like, over, under. Like a, like a percentage is on that. You take it, you start. I've never known how over, under works. Well, not even over, under, just percentages. Okay, well, I like, let's go. Okay, I'll set it, I'll set it. So, Andy versus bear. I'm going the, the over, actually, I don't know how to do that either. Uh, percentage, high or low. Set, like, 73 bear. Andy, 3070. Okay. How about this? Price is right for Do we see Andy or do we see a bear? Okay, we'll deal in percentages and we'll go closest dollar amount. Okay. Percentage, percentage. I say 60% bear, 40% Andy. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do 59% bear. What? <laughs> oh, up there. See okay. Them? So. Look at that photo, Andy! Oh, sorry. No, I'm good for you. I was just yelling. After what had felt like an eternity, the guys had finally found Andy. I heard something about building a guide or something like yes. that. Yes. Guess who no, it's no, going to no, be? No, building a super guide. Yeah. The only problem was, during the interview, there were some audio issues with the mic, and so everything ended up sounding like this. But here's a quick summary of Chris and Trevor's first meeting with Andy. Hello, I am Andy McPherson and I am a polar bear guide here at Churchill Wild. The first rule to follow when dealing with a polar bear is don't be a dumbass. Now let's go find some polar bears. See you tomorrow. On the next episode. The bear whisperer is calling. I'm just getting the zodiacs ready. Woo! Fingers crossed, there's bears. Looks like these guys spotted a bear. The bear ripping apart the beluga? Yeah, we're doing it. Like, it's actually, it's actually happening. It's pretty unbelievable. It's Trevor here from The Make Me Show. If you want to see Chris and I doing more stuff like storm chasing or being in the rodeo, hit that subscribe button and the little bell too.